A pleasant day class! Welcome to Horticulture Module for Grade 10. This focuses on Quarter 3, Week 6 discussion. So let's get started! For this week, we are going to discuss methods of pruning. In this lesson, the learners are expected to Number 1. Compare and contrast different types of pruning method. And Number 2. Apply pruning in any herbs or shrubs with proper safety measures. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, let us first have a crossword puzzle. Try to find the following terminologies below. Pinching, heading, thinning, raise, reduce. Your time starts now. You're doing great. Find more words. Your time is up. All right, you got it all correct. We have pinching, heading, raise, thinning, and reduce. These words have something to do with our lesson for today. So let's start. Pruning is necessary to promote good plant health, remove damaged limbs, encourage new growth, and maintain shape. There are various methods or types of pruning which can be applied depending on the type of plant and purpose. In this module, we will going to discuss two methods of pruning. First, pruning herbs and shrubs, and the second is pruning tree. Let us first discuss pruning for herbs and shrubs. There are various methods of pruning for herbs and shrubs, one of which is pinching. To stop a stem from growing longer, help shape a small lifted shrub, and to encourage bushy growth, Pinch the terminal bud or the new clusters of leaves at the tip of the stem with your thumb and forefinger. Do this with annual and perennial flowers. This is an illustration of pinching. Pinching plant is a form of pruning that encourages branching on the plant. This means that when you pinch a plant, you are removing the main stem forcing the plant to grow two new stems from the leaf nodes below the pinch or cut. Next is heading. To encourage dense growth, shorten branches, redirect growth and help shape small shrubs and flowering perennials, cut further back on the shoot than with pinching. Use hand pruners to remove a portion of the branch to just above a healthy bud or side branch. This is an illustration of heading. When talking about gardening, heading back refers to pruning of the terminal or head growth of a tree or shrub branch down to just above the lateral bud. Lateral means side and a lateral bud is one that grows from the node along the side of a branch. You will typically use pruners to make this cut. Third is thinning. To shorten limbs, improve light penetration into plants and to direct the growth of shoots or limbs, remove an entire limb or branch either back to its point of origin on the main stem or to the point where it joins another branch. Use handheld pruners, lappers, or a pruning saw to make thinning cut, depending on the thickness of a branch being cut. This is an illustration of thinning. Thinning is generally the least invigorating type of pruning cut and provides a more natural growth form of plants. Important in maintenance pruning, thinning cuts are used to shorten limbs, to improve light penetration into plants, and to direct the growth of shoot or limbs. Fourth is shearing. 
this type of pruning is practically done or applied in formal landscaping. To create a hedge or bush with a spherical or square form on a small lifted plants such as boxwood, use handheld or electric hedge shears to closely trim leaves until the desired shape is achieved. Shearing stimulates many buds to produce new growth. So you'll be repeating the job regularly once you start. This is an illustration of shearing. Pruning or shearing your shrubs helps to contain their growth, to give the plants a particular form, and to maintain overall health. Shearing involves cutting only the top bits of the shrubs, new growth. You generally employ this technique if you want to achieve a formal, tailored hedge shape. Let's move to tree pruning. We have various types of tree pruning, so let's start with clean. Selective pruning to remove one or more of the following parts. Dead, deceased, and broken branches. This type of pruning is done to reduce the risk of branch falling from the tree and to reduce the movement of decay, insects, and disease from dead or dying branch into the rest of the tree. Cleaning is the preferred pruning method for mature trees because it does not remove live branches unnecessarily. Next is thin. Like in herbs and shrubs, in tree pruning, we have thin or thinning as a method. In this case, selective pruning to reduce density of live branches. Thinning trees reduces the density at the edge of the crown, not the interior, which increases sunlight penetration and air movement. This is an illustration of thin or thinning in tree pruning. It's of course similar to thinning in pruning herbs and shrubs, but in this case, it is it deals with thick branches of trees. Third is raise. Selective pruning to provide vertical clearance. Crown raising shortens or removes lower branches of tree to provide clearance for buildings, signs, vehicles, pedestrians, and vistas. This is an illustration of pruning through rays. Raising means to raise the crown, which basically means clearing some of the lower branches. To avoid leaving woods or marks, Regular raising of the canopy should occur on younger trees. The reason for raising is to accommodate more urban environments. It is generally implemented when tree limbs get in the way of structures or people. Fourth is reduce. Selective pruning to decrease height and spread. This type of pruning is done to minimize risk of failure, to reduce height or spread, for utility line clearance, to clear vegetation from buildings or other structures, or to improve the appearance of the plant. Not all tree and shrub species can tolerate reduction pruning, so the species and plant health should be considered. This is an illustration of REDUCE. Reduction is a practice that focuses on the skillful and discriminate reduction of stem that may need to be cut back for several reasons. One of the practices we do not do is topping trees. When we top trees, you remove crucial branches or trunks that cause large wounds in the trees, leaving them open to decay. We want to respect the natural branching of a tree. To keep the beauty of a tree, one should avoid topping. Reduction requires in-depth knowledge about how a tree grows back and which branches are necessary. We can preserve your tree's natural form 
but perform the necessary cut to keep your tree healthy and manageable. Let's have an example of pruning tomatoes. Cut at the internode between the fourth and fifth lip. At each node, a new stem will grow, producing four new branches. Once these branches have developed into main structural branches, you can prune again to shape your plants as needed. Never cut close to the stem you want to remain. This prevents pathogens from entering the main stem of the plant. Remove suckers or side shoots. Suckers are the growth that appears in the crotch between the stem and the branch. Remove them to direct your plant's energy into fruit-bearing stems. Another example is pinching basil. You can start pruning a basil plant once it has developed 6 to 8 pairs of true leaves. Simply pinch the stem about 1 fourth inch above where the plant is branching. Sometimes you will see new leaf growing in the axil of the stem and mature leaf. This is the future branch. Another example is dead heading flowers. When it comes to flowers, pruning is better known as dead heading. The dead head simply cut away flowers once they bloomed and began to fade. Most flowers will respond to dead heading by producing another cycle of blooms. Dead heading essentially prevents a flower from producing seed which, as mentioned above, ends the plant's growing cycle. Thinning other plants Tomatoes, basil, and flowers are the plants you'll need to prune most often, but others can, be can benefit from an occasional pruning as well. For example, thinning squash leaves can help prevent fungal diseases like powdery mildew. And pinching off flowers can help a pepper plant focus its energy on existing fruits. For your performance task as ODL students, here's the direction. In your home garden, prune a selective plants, preferably herbs or shrubs, which has a soft stem. Use pinching method of pruning. Follow the guidelines in pruning using pinching method. Shoot a video of the task. You may refer to the video that I will show you. Good afternoon class. So I'm going to show you how to prune uh, herbs, specifically oregano. Okay, so I'm here in our backyard garden. So the method of uh, pruning that we're going to do is pinching. Alright, so since it is herbs, so Let's get started. So as you can see, this is our oregano. As you have noticed, ayan, medyo woody. Woody na siya. Ayan, matigas na yung kanyang stem. So woody na siya. Okay? Tapos, kasi hindi natin siya napuprun, masyado tayong busy. So, yan na siya. Yan ang itsura niya, diba? Masyado siyang leggy and scrubby. So, hindi na siya ganun kaayang tignan. So, it is important to prune herbs and shrubs para maging pleasing siya visually at saka mas uh, mag-grow siya ng mas maayos. Okay? So, this time, I'm going to show you how to prune oregano using pinching method. Okay, so dito sa ating ito, dito na tayo mag-focus, okay. So, as you have noticed, ito yung toppers natin. Yan. This is the toppers. Okay. So, pagbaba mo dito, sa second layer, may makikita kang nodes or buds. Rather, buds of leaves. Ayan. So, pagdating ulit dito, as you have noticed, meron ulit buds. Yan yung mga tutubo ulit. Okay? So, mag-grow ulit siya. So, kapag pinroon natin siya dito, 
Ayan. Dito natin siya ipuprune. So, ipipinch natin siya dyan. Pag natanggal to, so another buds will grow. Ito. So, mag-grow siya ng uh, mas maganda. Okay? Itong mga buds na yan. So, kapag mas binaba pa natin dito, dito sa mas mababang part of the herbs, yan. Ito namang buds na to yung mag-grow. Okay? Magkakaroon ulit siya dyan ng mga uh, mas magagandang leaves. And then, ang benefit pa niyan, kapag mas malalim or mas dito sa bottom natin siya pinroon, hindi siya magre-result sa woody part. I mean, itong stem niya, hindi siya magiging woody. Unlike this one. Tingnan nyo, naging woody na siya. Parang kahoy na. Okay? So, unlike this one, ito hindi pa siya nagde-develop into wood. Medyo malambot pa yung kanyang stem. Pwede pa natin siya i-pinch. Okay? So, I think, para maiwasan natin yung woody, dito tayo mag-start. Dito sa medyo baba. Okay? As you have noticed, ayan, yung mga buds na bagong tutubo. So, we're going to pinch. Ayan. Pag pinching, using your thumb and forefinger. Okay? So, this one. So, that is pinching. So, yung natirang yan, yan yung tutubo na ulit. So, natanggal natin itong medyo uh, mahabang part na to. So, we will use this as flavoring. Because oregano, as we all know, this is widely used. Or thousand of people use this as flavors to dishes. And also, it can cure respiratory illnesses like cough and colds. So, pwede na din siyang gamitin. Okay? So, ito na yung ating prune. So, mababa na siya. Okay? And then, this one will grow. Hindi siya magiging leggy and scrub. Okay? Punta naman tayo dito sa baba. Ayan, medyo, yan. Marami na rin si Bull, diba? So, same procedure. You're going to pinch on your home, kaya pinching yung method na ginawa natin because you can easily do this in your home. Okay? And I know na wala kayong mga uh, appropriate tools for pruning. So, you can easily uh, do pruning through pinching. Yun nga lang, specifically, pinching is done on the soft stem. So, dito tayo. Ayan, try natin uling mag pinch dito sa mababang part ng ating uh, oregano para hindi siya maging uh, leggy. Okay? So, ayan. Try natin to. So, this is the topper. And then, you can see buds there. Ayan, may buds din. And then, buds again di here. So, again, so, we're going to pinch here. Again, you're going to pinch here on this part. Okay, near to the buds, not here. Okay, so we're going to pinch near the buds. So, pinch natin like that. Okay. Alright. So, that uh, buds will grow and become another uh, stem of this oregano. Okay, and so on and so forth. So, that's so easy. So, all you have to do is to search for the buds or nodes before pinching. Alright? Ayan. So, as you have noticed, medyo leggy na itong ating pusikit. Okay? This is an ornamental plant. So, if you're going to uh, prune this, if you look at here, this part, you will cut here to prune it. You will do heading. Okay? Heading. And then, if you cut here, heading. But, if you cut it near the main stem, this one, this one, you cut it here, the main stem, you will do thinning. Alright? That's the difference between heading
you are now ready to take the quiz. For the direction, classify the following if it is pruning for herbs or shrubs or PHS or pruning for tree or PP. Write only its acronym. Number one, pinching. Number two, raise. Number three, reduce. Number four, shearing. Number five, heading. Here's the key to correction. Number one, PHS. Number two, PP. Number three, PT. Number four, PHS. And number five, PHS. I hope you got it all correct. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day! I hope you learned something from this video. For more videos and updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. God bless everyone!